The Chamber Legacy Award is not one that's given out every year. It's really about a lifelong commitment to excellence. And whether it's in the broadcast booth, or it was on the baseball field, or the basketball court, or building a award-winning golf course with his friend Jerry Lynch, Dick Grote would strive for excellence. And my friend Mike DeDorich, the Chamber's media guru, and I uh, sat and talked with Dick not too long ago, and he told a lot of stories, and it was all about his life. And I was amazed at his drive, I was amazed at his passion for life, and really in awe of the legacy he has created in Westmoreland County nationally and internationally. I, I don't think the word icon is, uh, is, is under, understated. Um, it's an honor uh, to know Dick Grote. It's been an honor to uh, present him with this award. And Dick, congratulations on the 2016 Chamber Legacy Award and congratulations on 50 years at Champion Lakes. Dick Grote grew up in a small town, Swissville, and like every other kid who grew up in every other small town in western Pennsylvania, he had dreams. His dreams included playing Major League Baseball. And now, all these many years later, he says, I had unrealistic dreams, but I got to live them and that made me the most fortunate guy in the world. Game seven of the 1960 World Series. Dick had, Dick, you don't understand unless you really read about what he did. He was one of the great two sport athletes in our country. He went to Duke University, which in itself is a great educational institution. He played big time college basketball big time college baseball and he excelled at both to the point that he was the first player, first athlete to ever be inducted into both the college baseball and college basketball halls of fame. Dick Grote is one of the most accomplished athletes in U.S. history, a star for many years for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was also a star at two levels in the game of basketball. He could have turned pro in baseball. He had an offer from the New York Giants out of Swiss Vale High School but a college education was deemed important in the Grote household. He was on two World Series champions, the most famous one here with his beloved Pittsburgh Pirates in 1960. He and Bill Mazeroski formed one of the best shortstop second base combinations ever. And they were a stalwart of that team and a big reason why they won that World Series. So the Bucks are in the field and we'll set them up defensively for you in a moment. At first base, Rocky Nelson. At second base, Bill Mazeroski. Shortstop, Captain Dick Groth. The man had skills that people still talk about today. He'll go down as one of the greatest to ever play the game, not only just at his position, but because of everything that he could do, one of the greatest players in the world. As he was playing, he and his uh, good friend uh, Jerry Lynch decided they were going to build a golf course and they did that and it's known as Champion Lakes. It's celebrating its 50th year this year and uh, Dick and Jerry overcame much to put this golf course together to keep it running and now it is a not only a very good golf course but now it's a destination for people. People come there and stay and play and it's become a unifying factor in the Ligonier Valley. Well, what an honor it is for me to offer congratulations to one of, one of my longtime heroes, Dick Grote. What a great athlete, what a great pirate, what a great basketball player Dick was, and what a great man he is. He's had a, a wonderful golf course over in Ligonier Township uh, area, and uh, 50 years he's been providing great golf for the players of this area. Again, a, gr a great athlete. Congratulations, Dick. It's a well-deserved honor. Dick, this honor is well-deserved. Uh, as I've told you before, you are on the short list of, of one of the greatest people uh, I've known and the greatest athletes I've ever known for sure. 
Uh, congratulations. Well done. The most valuable player of the National League in 1960, also the batting titleist. He hit 325 that year. He was a terrific basketball player at Duke, and many of you know he does the color broadcasting on pit basketball to this day. The National League's MVP in 1960, Dick Grote.